15 most popular pastries in the world. Imagine the best dessert on earth. Then ask other people their favorites. Bet you dollars to donuts, their answer is different from yours. From childhood treats to a grandparent's favorite recipes, beloved foods are deeply personal. This seems especially true of desserts, which often take pride of place at celebrations and traditional holidays. For all the nostalgia of sugary treats, though, some sweets rise above local flavors. Head to any country to find tender slices of Italian tiramisu on cafe menus or sniff out the creamy scent of Hong Kong's Dan Tats in cities around the globe. And like Dan Tats, many of these recipes aren't desserts at all, the eggy tart is more often eaten as an afternoon snack. The idea of serving a sweet at the end of a coursed meal is relatively recent, and in some destinations, including Africa and Asia, desserts are a foreign import. But with food, like language or culture, determining what's foreign turns out to be complicated. Tiramisu relies on chocolate, coffee and sugar that arrived in Italy through global trade, while Hong Kong's most iconic sweet has roots in Portugal. Here are the list of top 15 best desserts around the world. Tikvinik Tikvinik is a traditional Bulgarian pastry consisting of thin sheets of dough that are filled with grated pumpkin, coarsely ground walnuts, sugar, and cinnamon. This pumpkin dessert is a sweet version of banitsa, a phyllo pastry pie that comes in numerous varieties. When baked, tikvinik is sliced and usually dusted with powdered sugar. Tikvinik is often associated with winter season, and it is commonly served on Christmas Eve, but it can be enjoyed throughout the year, either as a delicious breakfast or a hearty dessert. It is recommended to pair tikvinik with a glass of yogurt on the side. Bungeeopping Bungeeopping is an unusual fish-shaped South Korean pastry filled with red beans. The outer shell is made with a simple batter consisting of eggs, flour, raising agents, sugar, and water. It is poured in fish-shaped molds, and a dollop of smooth or coarse red bean paste is then placed in the middle. Enclosed in the mold, the pastry is baked on the stove until golden brown and crisp on the edges. The red bean filling is evenly distributed within the pastry and stays safely tucked inside. One of the most popular varieties of this sweet snack is known as ice bungeeopping, the factory-produced treat which combines ice cream with red bean filling. Chabakia Chabakia is a chewy, crunchy, and fragrant Moroccan pastry made by arranging strips of dough into a flower shape. It is then fried, coated in honey, and sprinkled with sesame seeds. This sweet treat is traditionally prepared during the month of Ramadan, and is typically served alongside Harira. It takes a lot of time and effort to prepare chabakia, so Moroccan women often ask sisters, mothers, or friends to help them in making large quantities of these cookies. Karapop Karapop or curry puff is a small, deep-fried or baked pastry shell filled with thick chicken and potatoes curry. It is believed that the flavorful snack was invented by the Malays from the Malay Peninsula and parts of Sumatra and Borneo. It is a popular breakfast item or an afternoon snack which can be found at numerous stores, bars, and markets. Because of its simplicity and flavor, Karapop quickly became popular outside Malaysia, especially in Thailand and Singapore. Today there are numerous versions of Karapop, so instead of potato and chicken curry, it can be filled with various other ingredients such as tuna, sardines, and beef rendang. Flores de Hojaldre Flores de Hojaldre is a specialty of the Spanish city of Alcala de Henares, consisting of puff pastry hojaldre that has been rolled into beautiful shapes of flowers or roses. It is the unique shape of the pastry that has given it its name, which translates to flowers of puff pastry. At its simplest, flores de hojaldre are distinguished by a light, airy, and flaky texture, and they are usually served dusted with powdered sugar and accompanied by a cup of coffee on the side. Although it's most commonly made in the sweet version, this traditional Spanish pastry can also be savory, depending on the ingredients used for its preparation. Suncake Even though Taichung City offers many signature eats and unique spins on local fare, one of its specialties and most notable standouts is the suncake or Taiyang Bing. Traditionally prepared since the Qing Dynasty era, this delicious Taiwanese flaky pastry filled with gooey, buttery maltose paste is a treat found in every bakery shop in Taichung. It is even sold as a souvenir, pre-packed in attractive gift boxes. An interesting combination of flavors and textures, the round-shaped suncakes are most often sweeter than honey and their thick, caramel-like filling perfectly contrasts the dry flakiness of the fleury, paper-thin layers of phyllo dough. Focaccia di Recco call formaggio This delectable cheese-filled focaccia hails from the town of Recco, Liguria's gastronomic capital where it can be found in every bakery, pizzeria, and restaurant.
It was reportedly invented in the 12th century when, according to legend, the citizens of Reco were preparing this dish for the crusaders with the little they had, flour, water, olive oil, and some cheese. Unlike most other focaccia flatbreads, this one is made without yeast, and features a paper-thin, hand-pulled crust filled with the soft, mild-flavored cow's milk cheese from alpine pastures called Stracino or Crescenza. By the end of the 1800s, focaccia di Recco had become traditionally associated with the celebration of All Saints' Day, but today it is prepared and enjoyed throughout the year. Olibal Olibal is a traditional Dutch and Belgian snack that can be literally translated as oily ball. The dough, which is deep fried in hot oil, is made with flour, eggs, yeast, milk, and baking powder. The exterior is crunchy, while the interior is chewy and soft, just like a true representative of comfort food at its best. Traditionally, the fritters are sprinkled with powdered sugar, while some varieties are filled with raisins or currants that were previously incorporated into the dough. Oliballen are often prepared and consumed at numerous fairs, and they are especially popular during the Christmas and New Year period. Barrack sauce Sirem You might have heard that barrack can only be called barrack if it's filled with meat. That is, if you live in Bosnia and Herzegovina, but not everyone does, nor is barrack really Bosnian, in fact, it has Turkish origins. In Bosnia, barrack with meat and other types of similar pies such as cernica, cheese, and krumpirusa potatoes are usually rolled into a coil, while Croatians have a more relaxed approach, barrack can be round and cut into quarters, or rolled into a coil, both shapes are good and both can be called barrack sauce sirem, when filled with cheese, of course. Initially, barrack was brought over to Nice in the 15th century, and it was prepared as a round pie. After World War II, barrack came to Croatia and Slovenia. The term barrack sauce sirem, denoting a round or coil-shaped pie filled with cheese has been so ingrained into Croatian culture, for more than 50 years, that it can be considered a Croatian classic regardless of its name. Verki called verki or verki z kremem in Poland, this sweet specialty is a type of cream roll consisting of thin pastry that's typically filled with whipped cream or pastry cream. It is often dubbed torpedo dessert due to its characteristic shape, and apart from Poland, there's also a long-standing tradition of preparing this dessert in other countries. The origins of verki are often associated with Turkey and Bulgaria, where the dessert is known as torpel tatli c and funiki s krem, respectively. There are many variations of this sweet delicacy regarding the ingredients used for its preparation, the appearance, texture, and flavor of the rolls, and the type of cream used for filling the pastry. Jamaican patty Although pies filled with meat are popular in many countries throughout the world as a great way to turn cheap cuts of meat into savory bites and making sure that no food goes to waste, Jamaican meat patties are enhanced with unique African and Indian touches. Derived from English favorites, meat pies, and Spanish pastelas, they are universally loved in Jamaica as a simple street food that can also be served as a main course. Jamaican patties are flat, baked in a half-moon shape, and coated with turmeric on the exterior, while on the interior there is a fragrant, aromatic filling usually consisting of finely ground beef meat, breadcrumbs, and a selected variety of spices such as thyme, onions, garlic, scotch bonnet chilies, and a zesty curry powder. Canale Canale is a little cake with a rich, custardy interior, and a thin, caramelized exterior, invented by an anonymous cook from Bordeaux in France. There is a theory that the dessert originated in the convent of the Annunciation in Bordeaux, specializing in the production of candied nuts and sweet sticks known as canellets. Canellets were traditionally made by the nuns and given to the poor. In 1790, the nuns left their convent, but the recipe was rediscovered and improved by Bordeaux cooks in 1830. Today, canale is an emblematic symbol of the city of Bordeaux, kept as the city's specialty, but it can also be found in numerous Parisian patisseries. Banitsa with cheese The Bulgarian pie banitsa made with cheese is the main version of this traditional pie. It's made by layering sheets of buttered phyllo pastry with a combination of eggs, yogurt, and cheese such as seren and feta. There's an optional ingredient in the preparation of banitsa and its baking soda, which makes the yogurt rise and makes the pie fluffier and richer in flavor. Traditionally, banitsa with cheese was prepared and served on Christmas and New Year's Eve, but nowadays it can also be bought throughout the year at grocery stores, street vendors, kiosks, and pretty much everywhere. Apart from this basic variety, there are also other types of savory or sweet banitsa pies filled with various vegetables and fruits. Breek Tunisian Breek is a popular dish that incorporates flaky dough filled with a variety of savory ingredients. 
Traditionally, malsuka dough is used to create brik, but the more available phyllo pastry is commonly used as a replacement. Brik is usually made with layers of laminated pastry, to achieve a crunchy, layered texture. The pockets are filled with stuffing, skillfully folded, then shortly fried in deep oil or baked in an oven. The most common filling is tuna-based, enriched with traditional North African spices such as cilantro, chilies, pepper, or coriander seeds. A raw egg is often placed on top of the tuna filling, the pastry is carefully folded, and the egg partially cooks inside the flaky pastry. Pastel One of the most common fast food items in Brazil is known as pastel, a deep-fried, stuffed pastry. This half-circle or rectangle-shaped miniature pie is stuffed with a variety of ingredients, most commonly shredded chicken, ground beef, mozzarella, or small shrimps. Sweet varieties also exist, and they are usually made with chocolate, bananas, or guava jam, but they are not as common as their savory counterparts. The exact origin of the dish is not familiar, but it is believed that pastel evolved from the Chinese spring roll, which was brought to Brazil by Japanese immigrants. Longus longus is a Hungarian specialty made by deep frying a basic dough consisting of water, flour, yeast, sugar, and salt until it develops a golden brown color. Sour cream, milk, or yogurt can all be used instead of water. Longus is traditionally consumed fresh and warm as a snack, and it can be topped with anything from sour cream and grated cheese to garlic sauce and salt, although it is often consumed plain, as it is. The name of the dish comes from the word lang, meaning flame, since it was originally baked near the flames of a brick oven, unlike today, when it is regularly deep fried in oil. Some believe that longus was created under Turkish influence, while others believe it comes from the ancient Romans. Chiakir These Italian carnival pastry fritters are made from dough that is cut into thin, rectangular sheets, which are then twisted into ribbons or kept flat with wavy borders. They are then deep fried and usually finished with a sprinkling of powdered sugar. Sometimes called angel wings due to their appearance, this carnival treat has many names depending on the region, and every region in Italy seems to claim chiakir as their own. The recipe for chiakir contains some alcohol, an ingredient that also changes by region. In Sicily they use marsala, while grappa is traditionally used in the northern parts of the country. Thank you for watching.